What am I looking at right now? What is this? What is this WCW Super Brawl shit? Almost a full second delay. And seriously, why does everyone walk around like their shit caked up their ass? Ah, fuck this piece of shit. I'm done. Let me tell you something, brother. This game is the worst there is, the worst there was, and the worst there ever will be. Woo! It's a limousine fucking jet plane sucking diarrhea drinking asshole sneaking hell on earth to the cartridge, and I'm gonna open up a whole can of whoop ass on it. And that's the bottom line. Because the fucking nerd said so. Couldn't have said it better myself. If you agree, somebody give me a hell yeah. That's great, no, but I said, give me a hell yeah. Oh, yeah. It's time for me to go out there. Ready to smack down on your booty, poo. Uh, hey. And that's the bottom line. Why? Indeed it is. Hey, y'all niggas can't say shit. You know what time it is. Turf Station, bitch. That's motherfucking right. Memorial Station, bitch. That's easy work. You already know what the end of the result is. Raven Nation, bitch. That's the bottom line. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. You already know what time it is. Lay a smack. Now it's supposed to be laid out this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Give it a bit of lay a smack. Now it's supposed to be laid once again. All about the drip, though. All about the motherfucking drip, though. Hey, wait a minute. This guy looks familiar. Here we go, your boy G-Dub back with his pimp shit. But wait a minute, something's missing out this equation. I can't be a pimp named Slickback without the purple though, right? All right, there we go. Now you know what time it is. Now who done stepped into the building? A pimp named Slickback. Goddamn right. Who am I again? A pimp named Slickback. Motherfucking right. Now I know your role out here while I give these niggas the business, laying a smackdown like it's supposed to be laid to hit it with the motherfucking drip though. You ain't know what it is when it come to these hoes. Yeah, name Slickback will put a lot of things over a hoe. Money over a hoe, always. Brand new gators over a hoe, absolutely. A turkey sandwich with just tomato, guaranteed. And once again, name is a pimp named Slickback. Miss Thighs, is it? Ha 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 big. He got him slogan. I felt like the game on this specific day. It be fraudulent ass niggas nowadays, yo. Running around here, niggas be folding and shit like pieces of paper. You bitch niggas, I stay hard like a fucking kendo stick out this bitch. Bamboo, nigga. Y'all motherfuckers get bended and folded up like goddamn pretzels. You might as well throw some cinnamon and butter and glaze these bitch ass niggas. You ain't never gonna honey glaze me like a goddamn honey bun out this bitch. It's not happening. I'll change some things about me that I want to. As far as you trying to mold me like a goddamn wax sculpture. Mm -hmm. Smack niggas for living for that shit. And still him with the pearly whites and cheese on these niggas while I'm doing it. Fucking faggots. Nigga, I say what I want, I don't care. Ain't nobody sponsoring me, nigga. I do what I want, I do how I feel. This is how I got to this point. Why well, I'ma switch that shit up now? Makes no logical sense. I'm the best at this shit, doing what I do. Cause in the day, I'ma still be me. And when they bury me, throw me over the river, whatever the case may be, I ask to be scattered in the river, still smacking that shit out you motherfuckers. And honestly, man, that's just the way the fuck it is, yo. Give me some goddamn game out this bitch. Man, I remember this story. This lady named Jennifer is a real American hero. So this masked gunman tries to rob their house. He also threatens her kids. So she's thinking there's only one way to get out of this situation. She gets her lips ready to ask the question, what that mouth do? She gets down on her knees and gives the gunman the business. And while it's going on, her husband turns WWF and whacks his ass with a steel chair. This arm and the gunman to get the fuck up out of here. Just use your imagination to try to replay that scene in your head. Thinking about it, that's just kind of crazy. So in the news article, Jennifer said, doing anything to save my children is a gross understatement. <laughs> yeah. She bought that life, she protected her kids. So they asked her husband what he thought about the whole situation. So the husband's like, she ain't never give me a head like that. Where'd you learn that trick? But then he said he'll save that for a later conversation. He's just glad that his kids are safe. How distracted was the robber? Her head game must be monstrous to have that nigga on cloud nine. And totally ignore everything around him. Meanwhile, the husband bashed his ass like he was Triple H or something. Probably could've got a sledgehammer too. I wanna know about that pillow talk after the whole ordeal. What if he was like, you gotta start doing that shit for me? And then she'd be like, you only break glass for emergency use only. <laughs> He'd be like, bitch, you ain't no fucking fire extinguisher. <laughs> Them late night combos probably be on the chain. She give a strangers tornado twisting? You better get yours. 